Okay, we're clipping on the hand grip, the attachment coming out of that super typhoon. We're gonna walk back and hold that right in front of your sternum. Now this is the static version. I should say, I shouldn't say static, this is the active version, but we're not gonna oscillate the tubes. As you can see, we have our hand grip on the attachment here. He's holding a level of tension. Alec, how far can you walk this way before you can't keep your hand in front of your sternum? You need to keep that hand dead center in front of your sternum at all times. Okay, you're gonna hold that position. Now, what I'm gonna ask Alec to do is real simple. I'm gonna have him switch the picture. He's gonna rotate to the other side and mirror his image. There it is, hold that position. So he's holding a level of tension, elbows in. Now, Alec has his arms extended out. This is a long lever arm. You could also bring it, let's call that a 10. You could also, I could say, Alec, can you bring it to a five? And just hold that five right there. Notice that the elbows are in, they're not flaring out. Okay, Alec is not flaring his elbows out because his structure currently, his strength profile is, is more than most. And he doesn't have it. So if your arms start lifting up, flare your elbows up. If yeah, see that? If your elbows start flaring up, you're compensating. You're tricking the system and you're decreasing, deregulating the system. Make sure the elbows are in. And I'm gonna say two, three, four, switch the picture. Good, hold, two, three, four, switch the picture. Now remember, this tube is pulling him all the way towards that anchor point, but what is he doing? He's resisting the rotation in that core. This is also gonna help the weight transfer by strengthening the muscles, strengthening the muscles on an intersegmental level. Excellent, excellent strengthening exercise to alleviate any type of injury when it comes to weight transfer.